Hey guys, it's me Nisha and I'm coming to you with the video kind of like a rant to talk to you about what type of sickle cell that I have. I have sickle cell anemia disease SC and this video is kind of going to be like a rant. I'm going to try not to go off. I'm going to try to try to con stay controlled. Um but it's really upsetting me and it's hurtful and it's offensive because a lot of this discrimination is coming from like the sickle cell community and family members. Like it really pisses me off. A lot of people try to say if you basically if you don't have sickle cell anemia SS, then you just have a trait. You don't have the full disease. And that's stupid. And those people are uneducated and and ignorant and I don't mean like I'm calling them name like oh you're ignorant I mean undereducated like you don't know lack of knowledge like not they just don't know they need to research it because there are seven different types of sickle cell disease people need to research this full disease not the trait there are seven types of sickle cell diseases I have the second worst the first worst is SS and the people that have SS kind of try to make it seem like oh if you don't have SS then you really don't have the disease you just you're just a carrier that is not true and that makes no sense if I'm just a carrier then why was I in the hospital 14 times in the last two years and had to get two blood transfusions and almost died about three times the trait wouldn't do that to you I have the disease and it really upsets me that people are like trying to tell me what I have you're not in my body you're not my doctor you not you don't know what I have I have had family members try to say oh you just have the trait how can you tell me what I have you don't know what I have you don't go to the doctor with me every two weeks or every three weeks to see what the doctor's telling me and if I just had the trait I wouldn't have to do that that doesn't make any sense I wouldn't be taking all the medications five pills in the morning and four pills at night if I just had the trait my little sister has a trait and she doesn't have any problems and our life is totally different so first of all if you want to get educated on the types of sickle cell you can go to, I'm reading off of my computer, to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention website. I will put the link in the description box. And I'm going to tell you the different types of diseases. There is, um, they call it HBSS, which is the first one. HBSC, which is what I have. HBS, um, beta I can't pronounce it. I'm not going to even try to mess it up. Um, T-H-A-L-A-S-S-E-M-I-A. -S -S then there is also H-B-S-D, H-B-S-E, H-B-S-O, and then there's also H-B-A-S. So there are seven, no, I'm sorry, H-B-A-S is the trait. So there are six different types of sickle cell sickle cell um diseases and the there's one the other one which is the trait and when you have the hbas the a is the normal gene the s is the deformed gene so all of these ones that are all of these ones they're like something s so that s it, that S means the same thing that the SS people have. When you have just that one S gene, you have the your body has the capability to have all the problems and complications that an SS person has. Have. In the past two years, I have SC. I have been having complications like a person with SS, and that's because I have SC. Just because of that one gene, that one S gene, I have those complications as well. Just like a person with SS means that they're mother gave them the S trait and their father gave them an S trait. A person like me with SC means that one of my parents gave me the S trait and one of my parents gave me the C trait. But the thing is, I still don't have any normal, any normal hemoglobin genes. The S is deformed and the C is deformed. And that's the same thing for the rest of the sickle cell diseases. So people, please, if you don't know just don't talk about it or just simply say you don't know or just how I just made a mistake and said there were seven. Correct your mistakes.
Because the thing is, you're discriminating on people in your own community. We're trying to have a sickle cell community and tell people about what sickle cell is. And within that community, we're already starting discrimination, telling people, oh, you only have this, you only have that. That is not fair and it doesn't make any sense. How can we support each other if we're already pushing people out of the group? Like, oh, you know what? You really don't belong in the group because you don't have the disease. You just have the trait. How about you worry about what you have and don't worry about what other people have? That will be a lot better. And I'm really, I'm really not trying to be mean or anything, but because I have the disease and because people have told me I only have the trait, it is so hurtful for me to sit there and lay in a freaking hospital bed with a port getting stuck and getting fluids, getting antibiotics, going through everything that I go through and being alive by the grace of God. And for somebody to tell me that I only have the trait, that's offensive and it's wrong. And I'm using my channel as a platform to say that I don't care if nobody ever sees this video. It's just like a release for me to be able to say these things. Because like I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of it from family members who are uneducated. I'm sick and tired of it from YouTube people. I'm sick and tired of it from people on blogs. Read, research, Google, use the internet. It's been around for years. It's free. Use it. I will put the website below so that you guys can read on this and that you can see. SS, yes, I give you guys, I, I, I give you that because you guys do have the worst sickle cell disease. But please do not downplay the other diseases because we go through a lot too. We have the same sickle cell pains as you, especially when you have that S gene. It automatically gives us the, the symptoms that you have. So don't do that. You don't know what the next person has been through. You don't know how many times I was in the hospital. I've been in the hospital basically every month to every other month in the past two years, nonstop. You don't know what that's like on me, my husband, my kids, my family. You don't know what that's like. So don't sit there and say that somebody has a trait. If you don't, don't do that. And make sure if you're going to do an informative video that your information is correct. And if it's not correct, come back and correct yourself and say that you weren't correct and give the correct information. I really, I'm, I want to say that I hope nobody's offended by this video, but honestly, I, I don't care. If anybody's offended, I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm offended. I'm hurt because I feel like I'm trying to be a part of this community. I'm trying to spread awareness. I'm praying for people that I don't know because I know what it's like. I don't care if you have the smallest type of sickle cell disease out there. I know that it's painful and it's stressful to have any type of disease and it, it takes a toll on your family and on your life, on your mind, on your body, everything. So I'm praying for these people and then some of these people that I'm praying for that I don't even know their names are, are doing videos saying that I have a trait. And please, if I've commented on your video like saying something about this, this is not just directed at you. This is like a lifelong thing that I've had to deal with. So please nobody take this directly. But if you have done that, then this information, please use it and read the link that I'm going to put put down. I'm going to get this information off of a legit government website, Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC. And it has all the types of sickle cell, how you can get them from your parent and the facts and these are approved by the government not that the government tells us the truth about everything but this stuff is legit and it's real and it's not just what I came up in here so please don't take don't take offense to this video take something and and learn from it and learn that just learn to be careful what you say because you don't know how it's going to affect the next person and you don't know what they've dealt with so that's all guys I'll talk to you later bye